God, Marcus, there's so many people here. Well, it's one of the hottest days of the year and everyone is flocking to Corny Island. I don't blame them. It's not exactly the two P machine. It is the quarter machine, I think, isn't it? Uh huh. Twenty five cents a play, and it's moving very slowly. I have to say, <laughs> so it gives you more chance to put your coins in. But uh, no, that's too big a stake for me. So we're going to give it a miss, I think. Welcome to Corny Island. We are standing underneath the iconic Wonder Wheel. Or is it the Wonder Wheel? Wonder Wheel. Whatever way you say it, you need a stomach made of iron, I think, to be able to go up there. Really? Well, maybe, maybe you don't. I certainly would. Uh, because there's absolutely no way that I shall be going on any of these rides today. is absolutely packed to the rafters. Well, we are down by the boardwalk and the promenade and the beach. And it is a fabulously blue sky day. Look at that. And yes, as Paul has said, the place is packed out. Everyone has brought their buckets and spades for a day out at the seaside. It's definitely a good way to keep cool in the summer. There is a, actually a little bit of a breeze down here and that is because we are down by the sea. And what is the water behind us, Paul? Oh, 
that's the East River, is it? Isn't it the Atlantic Ocean? Or is it Long Island Sound? Yes, either one of those. And where we are standing, we are actually facing the Wonder Wheel in the opposite direction. Well, when you come to Coney Island, there are two things that you simply must do. What is that? Well, the first one is ice cream. Well, we've found a little bit of shade now. Um, I'm quite worried about this cone because look, it is slightly lopsided. Stick it into the main cone. That's what I would do. It's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, my dear. And in danger of collapsing. What do you think of the ice cream? You definitely need it on a hot day. But the taste. Is it like a Morelli's? Bang Okay. But you can see how quickly it is melting. Because today, um, I think it's gone up to 36 degrees Celsius, so it is pretty hot. The other must-do at Coney Island is to visit Nathan's famous hot dogs or Frankfurters. Now, why are they so famous, Paul? Because every year there is a hot dog eating contest. Yes, and I think the record stands at something like 90 or 100 hot dogs in what, how many minutes? I don't even know. But I think today we will just manage one between us. <laughs> So we went for one each after all because Paul wanted his mustard and ketchup, but I like mine plain. So let's tuck into these. Mm. What do you think? Delicious. Mmm. Not bad. Mm. But I don't know how anybody could eat more than one of these. I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh, uh. I wanna make you move, make you. We hope you're enjoying the show. Please stay tuned for more after the break. I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh, uh I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh. Take some time to reflect on today's show and then please subscribe. So this is the famous Chelsea Market.
So this is the Chelsea local part of Chelsea Market. Look, it even says over there, shop the Chelsea local. And it's like a food court, I suppose. Um, it's really lovely and cool down here. We have come in the morning and we are in need of some sustenance. So we're gonna take a look around. I say we give this place a try. It's a mystery one. Tupel Shiko. Twist of grapefruit. Mineral water. Wow. No shortage of choices here. What have you got Look, there? Irish oatmeal. And it actually says oats imported from Ireland. I got a Italian cherry slice. It is short crust pastry with a cherry jam filling. And it looks absolutely delicious. Oh my god, this has like been the best pastry I've ever had. It reminds me of the puddings I used to get at school. Now you may say, oh what, school puddings, school dinners? That yeah. sounds disgusting, no, sorry. No, there was something about the pastry back at school and it just tastes just like that. It's delicious. How much was it? 4 25 Was it worth every cent? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Freshly baked here today. Do you want to get some to go? No, I think I just want to savour this. Mm. Make it last. You did not just do that. Every last crumb. Shoot the word, it's all gone, folks. TV screens. Wow, look at this. was at Chelsea Market before. I think it's because I haven't been here for such a long time. So anything I see is gonna be new to me.
has been a fabulous trip to Chelsea Market and the Chelsea local market. I think it does give you some shelter from the harsh summer sunshine. Or the winter rain and snow. Yes, there is also that too. So whatever the nasty weather or natural climates, this does give you some shelter and much needed explorations. So we shall now walk into the light.